Hey, uh, good evening, everybody. So I recently received a request uh, from one of my uh, the comments on one of my uh, YouTube videos on how to deal with uh, flat gears. So uh, I actually am working on this particular model so I can actually demonstrate. So this particular model has uh, anime uh, style gears where uh, instead of using geometry like in the dust uh, figure to show depth and uh, the, the years, uh, the inner loops of the years, they actually show it using uh, texture, so shadows, textures, and lines. So the geometry of it is actually pretty flat. So if you if you wrap this directly, uh, what's going to happen is that the the surface of the years here will actually be mapped onto the surface here, which means to say it will all be flat. So how do you deal with this kind of uh, situation? Uh, in my case, how I how I deal with it is uh if you can see down here this they are going to do a, a wrap onto the eyes uh, sorry to the ears uh the eyes is a separate issue the eyes is this eyes is huge compared to the other one so uh you can see that the the ears will actually be uh, stretched out from here and uh the the geometry here is actually kind of flattened out or it will be flattened out uh, once it's done with this wrapping Right, so uh, just give it a couple of seconds and uh, I will continue from there. Okay, so uh, the wrap has been completed. So you will see the years, uh, the shape of the, the mesh actually went right over the mesh of the uh, base figure so the years are currently completely flat so how do you do this uh, let me show you like for example uh, how you do it is actually to exclude the the years from at from the model itself but let me uh, show you what it looks like uh, without so So go back to Blender and I will import the model. Okay. And this is, this is the year that I currently have. So it is basically a, a completely uh, actually, it's not too bad if you see that there's, there's still some uh, slight indentation and all that. It is still there. Uh, but it's still a little bit of a mess because you have some kind of poke through and you need to smoothen out this area. And yeah, it's, it's a little bit uh, on the messy side. So uh, how I deal with this is actually to... I'm sorry. It's actually to uh, exclude the the years from the mesh so uh, what i did is that because as i have this replacement node down here you actually replace all the parts uh, because in this process if you know uh, in the wrap what i did is uh, is actually to take the the genesis 8 model and i chop only the head so uh sorry i, I chopped the, the the body out and then from there i will actually uh replace the search selected model so in this case the hands and the feet and uh also the years i will take from the genesis figure and replace it into my final figure so in the end i will have a uh model that has the original years instead right so Uh, oops, I'm not sure what happened. Uh, just give me a moment. Oh, oh, uh, there you go. Okay, so basically, this will be the default years. Uh, the genesis default years 
then what you do is uh i will show the head so in this case you can see the this is the years that you want to uh, move it over and then you just start moving so i in this case i'm as uh, pretty lucky in that i can actually use a mirror modification because animated um, figures so you the the features are actually mirrored so in this case i can actually do a bit of a mirror operation and uh, move the years to the proper position using that so So uh, just nudge them into place and if you use the smoothening, you can actually get a, a, a more accurate preview of uh, what your figure will look like uh, when you import them into Dust Studio. So using this, you can actually uh, move the, the model better into place. So a little bit flatter here and uh, a bit more protruding here like so and move this here like that okay so if you need a bit more accuracy you can just remove this uh, proportional editing and then edit them so uh, edit them vertices by vertices so you get more control this way especially for if you have the year loop that is uh, thicker you can use this to uh, to make your model more accurate so like this Okay, so using the combination of uh, grab the grab tool, you should be able to move the ears as you like into the position that is supposed to go to, uh, go to. Okay, so in this case, I have a fairly accurate uh, ear, though uh, I think just now I moved something a little bit wrong, so I just need to adjust this a little bit. like so okay so then you just need to adjust this part down here the inner ear make it a little bit uh, wider and not so protruding like, like so and maybe smoothen out this part a little bit and you have a ear that is uh that looks nicer and uh, fits to the the shape that is the original uh, model. So uh, this is how I generally deal with uh, years. Okay, so I uh, hope you find this useful. And uh, if you have any further questions, uh, please put them in the comments, and I will get to them uh, when I see them, or if it's possible, or if I know how to deal with it, I will show uh, show you guys how I how I deal with it. Yeah. Okay, so uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching and uh, goodbye.